Hey everybody, Matt here. Um, uh, as you can tell up here by the uh, title, I'm going to be doing a video on uh, uh, CHLs. That's what I call them. Um, concealed carry handgun licenses. Now depending on where you go, they're called different things. Um, in Texas it is the CHL, the Concealed Handgun License. Um, I've, uh, I've got mine. I've had it for a little while. Um, and uh, basically what, what I want to talk about, I'll show it to you here without getting the number on here if I can do that, but that's, that's basically mine, okay, um, yeah I can't really show too much, it's got all my information on there, I'm not going to put that online, but yeah, there's my little picture. Um, it, uh, you know, a, a lot of people have them nowadays, and, I, and, and I'm sure most of my viewers, people who watch my channel, completely understand about getting a uh, concealed handgun license and why to get it and what it means and about the responsibilities of it. Um, I, I, but the, I know I have some people out there who uh, watch my channel who may not, uh, who, who, you know, obviously like guns because they wouldn't watch my channel if they didn't, but who may not understand uh, why it would be necessary to have a concealed handgun license. Um, so I wanted to go over some things, um, and of course, I have the gun porn here while I'm here. This is, uh, as you've all seen, this is my uh, Smith & Wesson M&P 9C, okay? It is loaded. Nothing in the chamber right now because I don't have it on me. For anybody who's wondering, when, it, when it's not on me, it's uh, in condition 3. Uh, nothing in the chamber, but it does have a full mag in it. Uh, when it's on me, it's in condition 1. Uh, with the uh, round in the chamber. Now this particular gun, just like a Glock, doesn't have a safety on it. But anyway, a little gun porn there. Yay! Um, anyway, um, why get a concealed carry handgun license? Okay, um, I I think the most important reason, hands down. I mean, people say self defense and 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 the right to defend yourself and protect your family and and. Uh, you know all those other reasons, and I agree with those. Those are all excellent reasons, and those are very um, uh, valid, uh, substantial uh, reasons. You know they're 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 easy to grasp. Okay, but I believe the most important reason to not only uh, uh, have a, a concealed handgun license, but just to own a gun. Um, the most important reason is because you can. Because I feel personally that it is a responsibility that each of us has as part of this republic, as part of this country, to be there if anything were to ever happen. And, and, and I, I mean, whether it's you're going to a restaurant and somebody, some psycho pulls out a gun, um, I believe you have a responsibility to do what you can to help the people around you. Okay. Um, now that does not that does not mean you should throw your life away to some psycho. But if the opportunity presents itself, I believe it is a person's responsibility to try and 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 intervene. Okay. Um, and and like I said, you know, and that that all goes down to because you can. That's the most important reason you should have a gun. That's the most important reason you should carry a gun is because you can. Because the Second Amendment demands that we have the right without any infringement to keep and bear arms. Okay. Now the reason that was written was because the Founding Fathers wanted the people, because at this time you have to understand the Founding Fathers could not conceive of a time when there would be people in this country who would not carry a gun. They just didn't see it. They didn't. They could not ever conceive of not having tools to defend yourself. Tools to, whether it be from from uh, thieves and criminals or from a, a, a you know a, a tyrannical government or or whatever it is, they could not conceive that people would not want a firearm or, or some sort of protection that would be equal to whatever the criminal or tyrannical government or whoever it is had in their home, 
Okay, they just couldn't conceive of it. To them, it would not make sense that there are people out there right now that don't have a firearm in their home when there are criminals out there who have automatic weapons. Um, it wouldn't be conceivable when you have a government that is so strong and so powerful and has so much military might that it at any time could decide to turn on its people and go after them. Now the chances of that happening obviously are, are almost none, hopefully, <laughs> but the founders would look at it as when you have a government that strong and that powerful with that much weaponry, why wouldn't you as a person be worried because as history has shown, governments like that always turn on the people eventually, okay? Why wouldn't you be concerned? Why wouldn't you at least want a handgun in your home or a shotgun or something to be able to defend you, defend your family, uh, defend your neighbors? Um, it wouldn't be conceivable to them to them that, that someone wouldn't want a gun in their home, okay? Because when, back when they lived, um, and people think of it as, as the Stone Age just because they weren't as technologically advanced. These were highly intelligent individuals. These were very smart people, just as smart as we are today. They just didn't have the technology we have today. It was not the Stone Age, okay? These people were just as capable of rational thought, you know, as we are today, okay? So I'm tired of hearing that argument that, oh, they're just, they, they couldn't fathom the world we live in today where we don't need guns. No, don't be stupid, okay? The founding fathers knew that regardless of the situation, that regardless of technology, that regardless of time, you know, regardless of advances made, regardless of culture, that if a government has power, if a government has weapons, then the people should have just as much weapons just, just, as, just as advanced, just, they should be able to stand up and defend themselves against their own government because time and time again throughout history, the governments have turned on people. That's the way it's been. That's the way it's always been. And just because we as a country have lived in relative harmony, and I say relative, uh, anyway, just because we've lived somewhat uh, happily without any major uprisings for 150 years since the Civil War, uh, doesn't mean shit, quite honestly. 150 years? Please, that's a drop in the bucket compared to the time that man's been on this earth. You know? Every government in history has turned on its people in one way or another. The founders knew this. That's why they wrote the Second Amendment. Okay? To me, that's why you should have a gun. That's why you should have a, a concealed carry license. Because you have the right to have it. You have the right to... to have that gun for defending yourself against anything, criminals, thieves, anything, uh, a corrupt government. You have that right. And that's the most important reason. There is no more important reason than that. Self-defense, these are all valid, substantial reasons. Uh, Self-defense, hunting, you know, there are a hundred other reasons you can come up with why you should own a gun or why you should conceal carry. But none of them add up to being as important as the fact that we have the right to. Okay? If you do not use your rights, they go away. For people out there who are worried about, uh, you know, oh, will the government try to take my guns? You know, go out and get a seat. Go out, go out and get a concealed carry handgun license. Okay? I encourage everyone to. Okay? Because when the government, the government knows who has concealed handgun carry licenses. Okay? Now, I'm not just talking about your state government. The federal government knows who has guns. They, they, the ATF, and, you know, they, they track all this stuff. Okay? So every time you buy a gun, you know, every time a gun is sold, they know who it was sold to, when it was sold, they know what kind of gun it is. Okay? Same thing with concealed carry handgun licenses. They know about these things. The more people who have guns, the more people who carry guns, the less likely that the government will try to take those guns away, okay? If it's just a small handful of people that have guns and an even smaller handful of those people that have concealed carry licenses, it makes it much easier for the government to think they can go ahead and, and start to infringe on your uh, Second Amendment rights. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a very basic common sense idea to grasp. The more people who the government sees has guns, and not only has guns, but has concealed carry handgun licenses, the less likely they are to try and strip that right, 
to try and infringe upon our Second Amendment rights. So I think it's very important, okay? <sighs> anyway, that was a little rant of mine. Um, and some of you may, out there might not agree. Some of you may think self-defense is more important of a reason to have a gun, or hunting is, is a more important reason to have a gun. I don't know. And like I said, I have nothing against those reasons. Okay, those are good reasons. Those are also reasons I have a gun. But the most important reason is because you have the right and you need to use it so you don't lose it. And that sounds like a stupid 80s commercial. Use it so you don't lose it. But anyway, that's the truth. You know, we need to, we need to use our rights. If, if you have a gun, you need to get a, to get a, hand, a concealed handgun license, okay? Uh, if you don't have a gun, you need to get a gun, okay? If you don't have a gun, you can go get a concealed handgun license. You don't even have to have a gun to, own, to have a concealed handgun license, but you have that right. Anybody who does not hate guns, anybody out there that's not liberal, and, I, and I'll be honest with you, I even know liberals who, uh, who own guns. I know some, some liberal, more or less, not far left-wing loony liberal, but some fairly liberal Democrats who own guns too. Um, so it's not, it's not like it's just a thing on, on the right. Uh, there are people on the left who own and respect guns and who believe in the Second Amendment, although most of them would probably don't believe in it as firmly as we do. But I think it's your, it's your, it's your duty. It's not just a right. It's your duty to own a gun, uh, to protect yourself, to protect your family, to protect others if the need ever arose. Now, with that gun, there's a lot of responsibility. There is no doubt about that. Okay, I'm not just saying hey, everybody should get a gun, blah, blah, whatever. Um, you know, without taking into account the responsibility that a gun, uh, you know, requires. Obviously, you need to be trained. Obviously, you need to take the time to learn about your weapon and to practice with your weapon and to train with your weapon and to be safe with your weapon. There's no doubt about that. But it is your responsibility. It is your right. You need to use that right. You need to be responsible. And you need to get a gun. And if you have a gun, you need to get a concealed handgun license. Period. That's my opinion. You can hate it if you want. You can tell me it's stupid. You can call me a gun nut. I don't really care. Um, but uh, it's important. Uh, the Founding Fathers believed it was important. And as I said, they were not stupid people. Uh, they were smarter than most of the people I know today. They were smarter than most of the people that have been in this government and been politicians for the last hundred years. Okay, They knew what they were doing. They knew what they were talking about. They gave us that right, and they expected us to use that right, not to throw it away. So anyway, that's it. I'm going to get out of here. Um, I, I'm sorry this video has been so long, but I'm going to take advantage of the fact that YouTube stretched out <laughs> the time limit to uh, 15 minutes, and uh, I really wanted to fit all that stuff in there. So I appreciate you watching. For anybody that did, um, I know it was a long ride, uh, but if you got any thoughts, man, let me know what you think. Uh, you know, like I said, I, I think it's very important. I think we all, this is something we all should be doing, um, regardless of what state you live in. Um, I know some states don't allow it, and I know I, that sucks, um, but you should seriously consider moving somewhere where it could, uh, where you can where you can conceal carry. Um, so anyway, that's it. I'm going to get out of here. Like I said, again, I appreciate you guys watching. I will have some more videos up for you all soon. Um, take care, everybody, and uh, comment. Let me know. Let's get a discussion going. Thanks.